What's up, YouTube? My name is Jeans, back with another Ranked Singles Battles for Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, if you do enjoy the content, make sure you show it by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. Seriously, guys, can't thank you enough for all the support that has been going out on these videos. We are pushing 500 subs, so let's keep that same energy rolling. So guys, in today's video, we're rocking out with this Lapras team actually made by my boy Nick Morale. This team is awesome looking. He put it together so well, and I cannot wait to use it. But if you'd like to check him out, go in the link in the description below. All socials are there. He's a great team builder and even a better competitive player. Rocking out in the front spot, you guys can see, is our Lapras with that weakness policy, which is dope. Rock and Rest, Hydro Pump, Psychic, and Ice Beam. reason we are ro Rock and Rest on it is because the ability Hydration wakes him up or takes all the status off of him when he's in the rain. So if we can get that rain rolling, we can get free rest off, fill up our health, and get back going in the battle. Then we got this Gengar rocking in singles. We used Gengar last in our double team, which he was nice, but he's better in singles. He's rocking Hypnosis, put people to sleep, Sledge Wave, and Shadow Ball for stab moves, and Nasty Plot to set up after we put Pokemon to sleep. He's also holding that Air Balloon so he doesn't get smacked up by them ground moves. Then we got my boy Haxorus, Focus Ash, which is always a great play. He can whoop on those Mimikus and all that good stuff. Rocking Iron Tail, EQ, Dragon Dance to set up, and Dragon Call. Then we got my boy Charizard right here. Choice Specs over here with Overheat, Hurricane, Dragon Pulse, and Solar Beam. Dude, Charizard's always a good Pokemon. Definitely a great special attacker. Then we got Toxtricity. I don't know if we used Toxtricity before, but he is a beast. He is a beast. Rocking that third spray, so when we use Boom Burst, his special attack will raise up, so any voice move. There we go. Beautiful. He's rocking Overdrive, Sludge Bomb, and Flail. In case he's low on health, we can Flail out and do some damage. Then we got this Assault Vest Gigalith, and this thing is a beast. An absolute unit. Absolute unit right here. Rocking Stone Age, Rock Blast, Super Power, and Iron Head. Dude, I cannot wait to use this team. Just look how cool it looks. It looks awesome. All the Pokemon are awesome. But guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, I actually made you guys some rental code. Bottom of the screen, hit that up, use the rental code up, and all that good stuff. But guys, let me know for question of the day. Would you guys rather see a Pokemon Let's Go, like a new one, or a whole new Pokemon remade, like an old one? An old Pokemon remade, or a new Let's Go? Let me know. But without further ado, let's get on with these battles. Here we go, guys. Hopping into battle number one. This guy's rocking Extra Drill, Mimikyu, Snorlax, Butterfree, Rotom Pizza Oven, and Corviknight. Okay, okay. I see he has a decently physical attacking team with a... Mm, with two special attackers. With two special attackers. So, I might want to bring in my Lapras. But, yeah. Let's bring in our Lapras. We're going to bring in our Lapras here. Lapras can do some work. And then we bring in that Gigalith too as a uh, defensive tank. We could bring in that Gigalith as a defensive tank. I see we could actually go Lapras, Haxorus. We're going to bring in this Haxorus. Just for that Mimikyu. Just in case that Mimikyu wants to roll in here. And we could bring in our Gengar too. Gengar can absolutely do some work. So, we can have a physical attacker, special attacker, and a special defense tank. Because I actually see him reeling in with that Rotom. I see that Rotom possibly coming in. And that's fine by me if he wants to roll out with that Rotom. Because we have a weakness policy on our Lapras. We can set that off and all that good stuff. But we're definitely going to be leading that Gar. We're going to be leading that Gengar. And then we're going to be going into the Haxorus and Lapras in the back end. reason I am leading this Gengar is I can put Pokemon to sleep. Gengar is actually decently fast. He has decent speed here. We can put some Pokemon to sleep and absolutely do some work. But guys, if you'd like to catch more content from me, make sure you go ahead in the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. If I'm live, come hang out. If not, hit that follow button, swing by later. We stream four plus days every single week, and it's a new season, so we're going to be trying to push Master Ball over there. Who's he going to lead? He's going to lead Pizza Oven, guy. He's going to lead Pizza Oven, and I believe my Gengar should outspeed this thing. So we should actually try to go into a sleep here, or we can go into our Lapras and trigger that weakness policy. We could make that read here. We could make that read. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hop over to our Lapras, who is our special defense tank here. So we're gonna hop over to our Lapras, potentially try to set off that weakness policy. We should be able to eat up a shot. We can go into rains and all that, use some rest. We should be chilling. We should be fine. Let's see what he does. We're gonna swap. Here we go. Is he gonna go for that volt switch? Is he gonna go for that volt switch or that overheat flamethrower or whatever? I'll be fine with. What are you gonna go with? You're gonna go with that volt switch. Beautiful. We will be able to set off our weakness policy. And look at that. We eat that up like crazy. We eat that up. Special defense tank Lapras right here. Perfect. Perfect way to start off this match. We can set off this weakness policy. Now we go into a Dynamax and all that good stuff. Let's see who he's going to throw out here. Who are you going to throw out here, bunny? We're going to try setting that rain, get that hydration off, all that good stuff. Who is it? Who you got, buddy? He's going to go into that Mimikyu here. He's going to go into that Mimikyu. Um... I'm going to save my Dynamax here. I'm going to save my Dynamax. We are actually just going to go into an Ice Beam and potentially try to freeze it. And then we can go into all that other good stuff. Unless he's going to Dynamax here too. Is he going to go for that Dynamax here too? This is a physical attacker. Mm. 
Hmm. I say we pop off into our Dynamax here. I say we do pop off into our Dynamax and actually set this rain right off the bat. Because I can see this thing Dynamax and coming straight for me. Let's see. Let's see. Is that him Dynamaxing or me? This is me. This is me Dynamaxing. I'm going to go here. Try to set this rain and get rolling here. Because even if we do survive all these hits and everything, we can go out and go into a rain. Or not into a rain. Into a rest with that rain and we will wake up right away. So it'll be back to full health and we won't be asleep. Which is beautiful because of his ability hydration. Is he going to die in here? He is not going to die. He's going to go for a curse on us. Which is fine. That's going to cut his HP down low. And then it's going to... Wait a minute. What did that do? The curse does. I think there's... So oh, it does. It works differently with uh, ghost types. So he cut his HP down to half. And what did that ultimately do for us? Will that take us down or something? This guy's going to pop. See you later, disguise. But let me see my stats. Let me see if that actually did anything. It cut his HP down to half. And then I think that's what the curse does. That's what the curse did. Okay. So we get afflicted by that curse. Now we're going to go into yet another Max Geyser. And we're chilling. We are chilling. I think we're fine. We can always go into a Max Guard later. And I don't know if the curse ends once this uh, Pokemon's dead. But we will see. We will see. But he's trying to waste out my uh, turns here. He's trying to waste out my turns. Let's go. Player off's going to pop off here. We eat. We're fine. We're chilling. And we can say bye-bye to this Mimikyu here. Mimikyu is out of here. I might go for a Max Guard here. We'll see. We'll see. We might go for a max guard. And then potentially go into another rest. Or not another rest. Our first rest. But I'm just reading this out. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh my god. That curse doesn't work. I don't know if I should go out with a bang here. I might just go for an attack. Because that curse is just murking on me. Instead of going for a max guard. Because the next Pokemon will probably outspeed me. It will probably outspeed. So we gotta, we gotta see what's going on here. It's gonna go into that Snorlax. We hit it with this Max Geyser. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna slap on this thing with a Max Geyser. There is Gigantamax in here. There is Gigantamax in the new season and all that stuff. So this thing is probably a Gigantamax Snorlax with his little belly looking like Torterra from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Let's see what he does. He does not Gigantamax here. We're gonna he's gonna give us a free Max Geyser. This should do a decent amount of damage here in the rain. Yeah, love to see it. You love to see it. Now if this boy does not take us out here, we will be fine. Okay, but is the curse still on us? That's the question. Is the curse still on us? He's got to drop his speed, which is beautiful. Curse is still on us. going to take us out. But we do outspeed. We do outspeed for this next turn here. So maybe we could potentially take him out. Maybe we could take him out with a... Uh, do we go straight for that hypnosis? We could go into our Haxorus. Our Haxorus will outspeed. He's physical. But I'd rather hit him with a special attacker here. I'd rather hit him with a special attacker. We're actually going to roll out into our Gengar here. We're going to roll out into our Gengar. We're going to try to put this thing to sleep. Unless this thing is holding a Lumberry. That wouldn't be too, too nice. But we have our air balloons. We're going to go straight into a hypnosis here. We're going to go straight into a hypnosis. Try to put this thing to sleep. We will outspeed considering his speed just dropped. And the Gengar's a pretty speedy Pokemon. I don't see him uh, Gigantamaxing or Dynamaxing. I mean, if he does, that's kind of a tough move. Because we could just put him to sleep and kind of just waste out that turn and we'll be chilling. That Lapras did some work for us though, guys. He was definitely running out here. But he lets us get off this hypnosis. We outspeed. Let's go. Beautiful. But I just showed off what Lapras can do with that weakness policy. That was that was awesome. That was awesome. We he set us up in a good position. And of course, I knew this thing was uh had like a berry. He's gonna go for a rest here. That's fine by us. We're gonna start tanking up. And he loses his berry. He loses his berry. Now he's full sleep. That's fine by me. We're actually gonna go into a nasty plot, set up our special attack boost, and then roll into some other attacks. Let's go. Let's get it, guys. Let's roll out here. Let's roll out. So nasty plot. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> just the way he moves with it is hilarious. You're still fast asleep. Are we going to go into a second nasty plot? The rain has stopped. What are we going to go into here? I think we're just going to start rocking out with these shadow balls. Because I know we do outspeed and we can put them back to sleep if we want to. Now we can't go into a shadow ball, but we still have sludge wave. And we're going to go into a sludge wave here. This is a stab move because he's ghost and poison. Let's see what happens. Sludge wave comes out here. Show me he's asleep for another turn here. Nasty plot is set up. That's going to do some work. Beautiful. Show me your sleep. Let's go, dude. You can say night-night to this Gengar here. You can say bye-bye to this Gengar. And we can actually go into a hypnosis for this next Pokemon. But he still has his uh, Dynamax I got to worry about. But I still have my uh, Hexers in the back with that Focus Dash. And I have this Gengar plus two on the... Wow, he's going to try to eat this up. He's going to try to eat this up. I think this is his last ditch effort here. This is his last ditch effort here. Okay. And this is not Gigan Gigantamax. It is a normal Dynamax Snorlax. Okay. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Let's see. Let's see how this thing's going to roll out here. Can he eat up a shot here? Can he eat up a shot? 
So unless we take him out, that'd be beautiful. We do not take him out. He does like this math, and he wakes up here. He's going to go for a max steel spike. Wow. Wow, what a play by him. Eat it up, buddy. Eat it up. Okay. We take those. We can say bye-bye to his Dynamax, and his Snorlax is gone. His That's, that's see you later, Snorlax. Air Balloon does pop, but we have our, uh, like I said, a Hexers in the back. Snorlax is done now, because I don't see him having a first move priority move. No way. Not a chance. Not a chance. So his Dynamax has just been wasted. Beautiful. And now we're going into the last Pokemon. I don't know what his last Pokemon is, but I feel like it's something that we counter hard. I feel like it's something we counter hard considering he's trying to take us out. He's trying to get our Gengar out the way. But we should be able to outspeed. I'm trying to think what it could be. But we should be able to outspeed, put it into a sleep, roll into like a Shadow Ball or something. Let's see. Who you got? Who you got? Oh, it is a Rotom. I forgot about him. But we still outspeed this thing. We still do outspeed this thing. Do we just... Do we go for that Hypnosis right off the bat? Oh, let's go into the Hypnosis right off the bat. Try to put this thing to sleep. Gengar is an absolute beast in singles. I know we use him in doubles, but he's always going to roll out with that trick, which is fine. It's actually fine by me. You're going to take our air balloon. We don't need our air balloon. And what are you going to give us? Oh, give us a choice scarf. Okay, we're just going to put you to sleep, and then we're going to swap out. That's our plan. Because <laughs> since we are choice scarfed into this, we're just going to uh, hop out here. We're going to hop out here. We're going to go into our Haxorus while we can. And we have Mold Breaker, so we can EQ through his Levitate. No problem. No problem. So I'm liking where we're sitting. I'm liking where we are sitting. We could possibly get... We have to kill with the... What's it called now? We have to kill with the Hexers. So we need this thing probably sleep for at least one turn. Why is his eyes open? Is he not asleep anymore? Okay. I was going to say, because most Pokemon eyes are closed when they're asleep. But Rotom's eyes are open. We're going to go into this EQ with this Mold Breaker Hexers, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. Can we take him out in one hit? I don't think we're going to take him out in one hit. I think it's going to be close. But I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine considering well do we outspeed is the real question if we outspeed we should be fine we do outspeed get off the first EQ beautiful that's gonna take him out beautiful that is the game let's get it guys let's get it that is how you play with this team Lapras came up big Gengar came up big and Haxorus even showed up at the end in order to help us get that victory Let's get it, guys. Battle number two coming your guys' way. This guy's right. Gyarados, Grim Snarl, Obstagoon, Halucha, Dragapult, and a Hexorus. And a Hexorus. Do we think that Dragapult is special attacking? Ew, that's kind of tough. That's kind of tough. But we're definitely going to be bringing our Lapras here. We're going to be bringing in our Lapras. Do we bring in our Giggle too? This looks like a very, very physical attacking team. Looks like a very physical attacking team. We might go double tanks here with our uh, Giggle and our Lapras. I feel like that could do some work. And then roll in. Mm, who do we roll in? Into the final spot. Do we go Gar? Do we go Gar or Charizard? Or we can go Lapras, Gar, and Charizard. But I would rather have a physical attacking here too. Or we can go Toxtricity. Toxtricity could do some work here. Let's go Toxtricity. Let's start with a little curveball. Let's go Toxtricity, Gigalith, and Lapras. I think Toxtricity, Gigalith, Lapras can do some work. Hmm. Or no, let's go with our Jolly Excadrill. Or Jolly, not Excadrill. Hexers. Tough. Let's go Hexers. Let's lead the Lapras. We'll go with our Hexers. And our Gigalith. Let's actually lead the Hexers. That's what I want to do. I'm actually just going to withdraw the Lapras and then put it in the back. So there you go. Hexers is in the front. The reason I am leading that Hexers is maybe we can get off of a free, what's it called? A free Dragon Dance right off the bat. Because I see him leading that Grimmsnarl possibly. And will he just go into a Moonblast? I'm just hoping he's not going to lead that Grimmsnarl. Let's see how he rolls out here. Let's see what is he going to do. What are you going to do? Huh, buddy? Who you leading? Who you leading? Show it to me. Ah, oh, it is a Snarl. Just, see, like, I know these things. I know these things. Usually everyone leads the Snarl. Actually, he's going to come out here. We're going to have to hard swap out. We're going to have to hard swap out of here. Mole Breaker comes out here. No ability for him. So he cannot outspeed us if he's rocking Prankster. We just go for an Iron Tail. Potentially just try to body this thing. We are jolly. I can see us outspeeding. I can see us outspeeding like crazy. We're going to go for the body here. We're going to go for the body this Grimstar. Let's see. Grimstar is going to set up the reflect. Okay, that's fine by me. That's actually fine by me. If we get a hit off on this thing, then we swap out. That's fine by me. Boop. Look at that. Do some nice little damage there. Okay, okay. So this thing does outspeed. We're going to swap out into our special defense tank. Our boy right here, Lapras. We're going to get this Lapras out of here. He probably thought we were hard swapping. So we might come for an attack now, which would be nice. And we can soak it up with our Lapras. And then go into some Ice Greens. Potentially get that Freeze and all that good stuff. Are you going to set up the Light Screen? Spirit Break's going to come out here. See? Baited that attack. Baited that, that, that attack hard. Okay, we're chilling. Okay, that's going to lower our special attack, which is bogus, man. We're going to go into an Ice Beam here. Try to get this Freeze off on him. He's probably going to set up a Light Screen now. But we're going for this Freeze. 
freeze. Oh, T-Wave comes out here. We might have to set the rain. Rain might be beautiful for us. We might have to set the rain. Get that paralyzed off of me. Let's see. Bruh. Bruh, what do you mean? Bruh, what do you mean? Let's, let's go. Let's set the rain. Let's set the rain. Get this paralyzed off me. And we can start doing some work on this, uh, what's it called? On this snarl. On this grim snarl. Let's get it. Rain is coming in. Rain is coming in. Because we, ha we have both of our defensive tanks, which I'm fine with. So we can always swap out and kind of counteract his Dynamax whenever he goes. So we're chilling here. I think we are chilling just fine here. Because we're going to get this rain off, get this paralysis off of me, and then we're going to get a Max Geyser head on, off of him. What's he going to go into? Light screen? Light screen's going to pop out here. That's, that. again, that's fine. That's fine. Because our next hit after this one should be able to take him out with that rain boost and all that stuff. Let's see. And we can say bye-bye to our paralysis. Because our, what's it called? Oh, wow. This thing eats it up like crazy. This thing's a beast. He's a beast, but the rain comes out. The rain comes out. I think this thing's just gonna try to stay in. Maybe go into a what's it called? Do we think it's gonna go into a uh now we're just gonna roll into another max hazard? He's gonna stay in here. Probably try to T-wave us again. That'd be fine by me. Spirit break. Nope. He knows our ability. Spirit break's gonna do a little bit more damage on us. He's gonna lower our special attack again. Like get out of my face, little boy. She keeps lowering our special attack, so we're minus two here. This should do a little bit of damage. And then we can do a little bit more. We're just gonna keep teeing off on this thing. And eventually we're gonna have to swap out here. I'm gonna try to go for a rest and then swap out. That's the plan. That is the plan. I'm gonna try to get a rest off after this and then swap out. Jesus, man. This thing is just tanking on us. How many turns left in the rain? It should be two more turns after this. It should be two more turns after this because now we can swap out. He's gonna go for a spirit break. We can go into our Gigalith here. We go into our Gigalith. See if I can T-wave spirit break. We know his moveset. We should have two more turns on the rain. Two more turns on the rain, beautiful. We're gonna go into a rest, heal up completely, and then swap out. And then swap out. So he's going to go for another spirit break. We will eat this up perfectly. Built. Okay, eat that up. Go into the rest. And then we'll have Lapras for later at full health, which is beautiful. Let's go. And then once we switch out, all of our uh, special attack debuffs will be gone, which is fine. Look at this. Look at this. We're going to sleep full health again. Now hydration comes out here. Beautiful. Lapras wakes up. We got a free swap in. We're going to get a free swap with our Gigalith here and come in with an Iron Head. Which is nice. We're chilling. We're just wasting his reflex turns and all that. So if we can get this Grim Snarl out the way and have that reflect gone too, we'll be fine. We kind of wasted our Dynamax there, which is tough, which is tough. But it's fine. He got some uh, good special attack drops on us. So he's going to come out here. We have a full health Lapras in the back now. He's going to go for a another Spirit Break. We will eat this up. We are soul vested. Mwah. Eat that up, Giggs. Eat that up, Giggler. Tank. Absolute tank. Drops your special attack, which is fine. We are physical attacking. He's gonna get off another spirit break before we probably take this thing out with an iron head. Reflect this wear off. He's probably gonna try to set up one more before he goes. And hopefully we can take him out regardless. Or should we have brick break on it? That would be nice. But he does set up the reflect before he goes out. Imagine if we had brick break. That'd be beautiful. Iron head. Can iron head take him out? Come on, show it to me. Take him out. Let's go. Okay, Grimstar is done. Light screen's starting to wear off. And we have the what's called in the back end. We have the Lapras. So I think it's one more turn with the what's it called? With that light screen, that won't be fine. We're chilling, we're chilling. And we have that Haxorus, which we need to get that Reflect out of here. We need to get that Reflect out of here. We have two physical attackers and one special attacker. But, dude, Gigalith's a beast. So is Lapras, dude. They can soak up some hits and we can do some work. Like, I made a great play there, setting up my Lapras, getting him back to full health before we actually swap out. So now he's just normal Lapras, but we are without our Dynamax. You gotta remember that Haxorus does come out here. This thing is probably rocking, what's it called? He's probably rocking the, what's it called? Uh, iron move? He's physical attacking. Do we just go into like a stone edge or something? Or do we go into a rock blast? He's gonna outspeed us. I wanna go into the stone edge. I'm gonna go into the stone edge here because I can see us eating up his iron head or iron tail. Oh, he's gonna dragon dance. He's gonna dragon dance and try to one tap us. I don't know if you can one tap this giggle. He's not technically one tapping us, but we are pretty high in health. Let's go. Land this, land this. Let's go. He lands at built. Do a decent amount of damage there. I wish I, I want the crit there. Uh, do we go out with the superpower? I don't really want to lower our stats yet. Do we go into an iron head? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for another stone edge. Because if we could crit, he could die here. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna dynamax here. He's gonna dynamax. Go into that max steel spike, I believe. Try to take us out. Okay, that's tough. That is tough. Dude, this guy. He's got his D-dance set up. He has his D-dance set up. Do I try to set up a D-Dance next turn with my Haxorus? I wonder what the plan is. Can we eat up a shot? 
He's gonna go into that max steel, I believe. Or he's gonna go into the worm one. Nope, steel. Like I said, racist defense. Can we eat? Come on, eat it, buddy. He does not eat. Dang it, King Glyph. Dang it, man. Okay. Okay, now where do we go from here? This is tough. Ice screen does wear off. Okay, light screen does wear off. Could roll into this ice beam. We're gonna go for that. We're gonna roll into some ice beams. Could you imagine if we get the freeze on him? That would be beautiful if we can get the freeze on him. We're gonna save our Jolly Hextress in the back end. Ice beam's popping off. We're gonna pop off with this ice beam. He's gonna go for a max quake. Wow, can we eat this up? Eat it up. Show me that you eat it up, Lapper. Set off your weakness policy. You eat it up. Oh no, it's not super effective. What's super effective? Rock is. I think rock is. Right? Or is it ground? One of them's super effective to us. It's fine. Ice cream's gonna pop out of here. Freeze him. Freeze him. Show me to freeze. Show me to freeze. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Let's get it. That could be huge. That could be absolutely huge. We have to stay alive here. We have to stay alive here. We need him frozen for like two turns here. Don't you dare tell me he thaws out right off the bat. Don't you dare tell me. Say he's frozen solid. Come on, baby. He withdrew Hexus. All right, no more Dynamax. All that's gone. All that is gone. What's he going to go into now? Can you imagine if we would have went for a rest? Who's he going into? The Gyarados. Okay, can we freeze the Gyarados? Ice Beam. Mwah. Freeze him. No, could you imagine? Um, you going to a rest? Oh my god, dude, that's huge. We have a Jolly Extra or Jolly um, Hexus too. So we might be able to outspeed his Hexus. Dragon Dance gonna pop off here. Dude, we're coming after you. We're coming after you. We're trying to get that confuse on you. We're not the confuse. We're gonna try to get this drop on him. He's gonna raise his speed. And his other thing. So like, he's gonna come out here. Let's go. Do some work. Lower it. Lower it. Oh my god, we didn't even get the lower. We're gonna go back into the ice beam. Should have just stuck, stuck with the ice beams. Went for the freeze. What's he gonna do now? Is he gonna try to D dance again? If he D dances again. I still think we're chilling. We're gonna need to get off another hit. Go ahead. He's gonna go for another D dance. That's fine by me. That is actually. That works for me. That actually really does work for me. So I still think we're in it. We just have to keep dealing damage. Show me the freeze. Show me the freeze, Lapras. Get it, Lapras. Get it, girl. Show it to me. Nope. Okay. He's going to try to take us out here. Again, I'm fine by it. He's going to outspeed my Hexers. He's going to outspeed my Hexers. We all know that. Hopefully he misses. Miss it. Miss it. Can we eat? Can we eat? Mm -hmm. Eat. 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 Nope. Do not eat. Okay. So now we're sitting here with our Hexers, our Jolly Hexers. We have the Focus Ash on him. Mox is going to go up. We're going to be able to eat up a shot here. This is this is the thing. The fuck wears off. We're going to be able we're going to be able to eat up a shot here with our Focus Ash, and then we can potentially outspeed because we are Jolly, because we are Jolly. So we just have to take him out here. We have to go into that Dragon Claw. Because we're not outspeeding him. This thing is plus two attack. He's going to go for a bounce. It's kind of a smart play. Imagine if we would have read that in D-Dance. Uh, Dragon Claw is going to pop out here again. He's going to go into yet another Dragon Claw. Let's go. Woo. Bounce is going to come down. He missed. <gasps> Hexorus. My boy. My boy. Let's go. Let's get it. I still think we were winning this game anyway. I, I will try to prove my point here when he brings out his Hexorus. Because, just think, he would have hit us. He's frozen. So, ready? He would have hit us. Triggered our Focus Ash, probably. Probably triggered our Focus Ash. Maybe not. We would have stayed alive anyway. Now, if we outspeed, we would have one-tapped this thing. Because we are jolly. We should be able to outspeed. He falls out. No, he does outspeed us. Wow. Never mind. But we eat up with that Focus Ash, dude. That, that actually just won us the game. That actually just won us the game. Get it, get it, Hexers. Boom, baby. Let's go. Let's get it, dude. Miss that attack, and we get that win. That is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it, guys. We just rocked out with this team. I played very, very well with this team. I'm starting to learn it more and more, but this team is great. I love the versatile on it, and I love just how the team looks. I just love how the team looks with the Lapras, the Gengar, and the Charizard. I just love all those Pokemon, and I just think this is such a great team. Once again, guys, shout out to my boy Nick Morale for helping me build this team. Link to all of his socials will be in the description below. Definitely go check him out. He's a great team builder and even better competitive player. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Also, guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, I made you guys a rental code. Go check it out. Use this team up and let me know what other Pokemon you would like to see teams built around and all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.